Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today, we're diving into the turbulent relationship between Kanye West and Jay-Z. Recently, some old comments from Kanye have resurfaced, adding fuel to their already strained connection. Let's break down the latest drama and revisit their rocky history. On August 7th, 2024, conservative commentator Candace Owens released an unreleased interview with Kanye West from October 2022. In the interview, Kanye made a crude remark about Beyonce and Jay-Z's relationship. He jokingly suggested that Beyonce should let Jay-Z get some pussy and even hinted at him seeking pleasure outside of his marriage. Kanye's comments were met with awkward laughter from Owens, but they're unlikely to sit well with Jay-Z. The relationship between Kanye and Jay-Z has been rocky for years. Back in 2016, during his St. Pablo tour, Kanye expressed disappointment that his kids weren't invited to play with Blue Ivy, Jay-Z's daughter. He also criticized Jay-Z for not returning his calls and even warned him about his killers, which he later clarified was just a figure of speech. This public outburst was addressed by Jay-Z on his track, Kill Jay-Z from his 444 album, where he rapped about Kanye's erratic behavior and their strained friendship. Despite their reunion on the track Jail, from Kanye's Donda album in 2021, the tension hasn't fully dissipated. Kanye continued to voice grievances, including his frustration that Jay-Z kept the Justin Timberlake feature, Holy Grail, for his solo album instead of their collaborative project. This ongoing feud highlights the complexity of their relationship, blending admiration with deep-seated frustration. Kanye West and Jay-Z's relationship has been a roller coaster of highs and lows. From public spats to partial reconciliations, their dynamic remains one of the most talked about in the music industry. What do you think about Kanye's recent comments? Will this latest drama push them further apart or lead to a new chapter in their story? 